For module 15.4, we are preparing the journal entries to record the admission and withdrawal of a partner. So the admission of a new partner, there are two ways for a new partner to join in the partnership. In both, a new partnership agreement should be drawn up because the existing partnership has come to an end. So it changes the dynamic and needs to be rewritten. A new partnership can invest cash or other assets into an, exist an existing partnership while the current partnership remains. So he can just kind of be added in. The new partnership can purchase all or a por portion or part of the interest of a current partner, making dr payment directly to the partner and not the entire partnership. So Bob and Jim are in business together and Paul can come by Jim's piece of the business. Um, sometimes the admission of a partner can create a situation called a bonus to those already in the partnership. A bonus is the difference between the value of the partner's capital account and the cash payment made at the time of that partner or another partner's withdrawal. So we'll go through the steps to see if a bonus um, is allocated. It's just a process. So admission of a new partner with no bonus. Let's go over that first and then we'll move into if there's a bonus or not. So whenever a new partner is admitted to the partnership, a new capital account must be created for him or her makes sense. So Dale decides to sell his interest in Acorn Lawn and Hardscapes to Remy. Since his this is a personal transaction, the only entry Acorn needs to make is to record the transfer of partnership interest from Dale to Remy on his book. So this is an agreement between Dale and Remy. All I have to do on the accounting side of it is take the capital from Dale and give it to Remy. And that cleans out Dale and establishes Remy. If instead the new partner invests directly in the partnership, the change increases the assets of the partnership as well as the capital accounts. Suppose that instead of buying Dale's interest, Remy will join Dale and Sierra in the partnership. The following journal entry would be made. Cash of 55000 Remy Capital, 55000 Okay. So admission of a new partner, bonus to old partners. A bonus to old partners can come about when a new partner's investment in the partnership creates an inequity or an imbalance in the capital of the new partnership, such as when the new partner's capital account is not proportionate to that of a previous member. A bonus to the old partner or partners increases or credits their capital balances, and the amount of the increase depends on the income ratio before the partner's admission. So, for example, we have, as an illustration, Remy is a skilled machine operator who will aid Acorn, Lawn, and Hardscapes in the building of larger projects. Assume the following information for the partnership on the day Remy becomes a partner by contributing $65,000 to the partnership. So the total capital of Acorn and Lawn Hardscapes was $100,000. Investment by the new partner, Remy, was $65,000. So that makes the total capital of the new partnership $165,000. Remy's capital credit, or one-third of 165000 is 55000 So we figured out the capital, and then we figured out that she gets one-third, so it's 55000 So the total bonus to Dale and Sierra is $10,000. So they both get 50-50 of the $10,000. So the allocation of the $10,000 bonus to the old partners, Dale and Sierra, is... 10,000 times 50% and 10,000 times 50%. So then it balances out down here. You can see it in the journal entry how it balances out the equity. So each partner has a third of the business. So you have $65,000 in cash that came in. Dale got 5,000. Sierra got 5,000. And Remy only got 55,000 because it was tr balancing out bringing in a third member. That third member just doesn't all of a sudden get 65000 and have more of the business than the two previous owners. But it's very simple to figure out. You just have to go through this process of figuring out what the capital was, capital from the new partner, total capital, and then divide it by the partner. It's, it's quite simple. You just have to go through the process, as most things in accounting. So admission of a new partner, bonus to the new partner, so you can have bonus to the previous members. You can also have a bonus to the new partner. So when a new partner's investment is less 
than his or her capital credit, a bonus to the new partner may be considered. This may occur when the partnership is more interested in the skills of the new partner that this new person possesses than in any assets that he brings to the business. A bonus to an admitted partner decreases or debits the capital balances of the old partners, and the amount of the decrease depends on the income ratio defined by the partnership agreement in place before the new partner's admission. So, for example, suppose Remy came in with 40000 this time, not the 65000 that she had. So, 40000 the partnership, and receives a bonus based on his skills. I guess Remy is a boy. Assume the following information for the partnership on the day he becomes a partner. So, we start this out the same. 110000 in assets, then the new investment by the new partner was 40000 leaving 150000 Remy's capital is one-third of that, so it's 50000 So total bonus to Remy is going to be 10000 The allocation of the $10,000 bonus from the old partners that they're going to have to pay it out is Dale's going to have to pay 5000 Sierra's going to have to pay 5000 So when they establish the accounts and do the journal entries, it's going to be cash of 40000 Dale is going to give 5000 of his capital, Sierra is going to give 5000 of her capital, and Remy is going to have a $50,000 capital, starting capital. The withdrawal of a partner is so partners may withdraw by selling their equity in the business through retirement or upon death. The withdrawal of partnership, just like the admission of a new partner, dissolves the partnership and a new agreement must be reached. As with new partner, the partnership continues operations and the economic effect of the change in ownership is reflected on the books. Assume that after much discussion, Dale is ready to retire. Each partner has a capital account balance of $60,000. Sierra and Remy agree to pay Dale $30,000 each to close out his partnership account. To record the withdrawal of Dale from the partnership, the journal entry is as follows. So Dale gets a debit of $60,000 to his capital account. Sierra gets capital of, pays in capital of $30,000 and Remy pays in capital of $30,000. And so Dale is paid off and he can retire. If the partnership buys out a withdrawing partner, when partnership buys out a withdrawing partner, the terms of the buyout should follow the partnership agreement. Using partnerships assets to pay for a withdrawing partner is the opposite of having a new partner invest in the partnership. A bonus to the retiring partner will occur when the partnership's fair market value of the assets exceeds the book value, so now they can sell their stuff for more than they bought it for or there's goodwill resulting from the partnership that has not been accounted for, so they built up a good name, a good reputation, and that hasn't been accounted for, and the remaining partners urgently want the withdrawing partner to exit or want to show their appreciation of the partner's contributions. So in that case, Acorn Lawn and Hardscapes is appreciative of the hard work that Dale has put into the success into its success and would like to pay him a bonus. Dale, Sierra, and Remy each have capital account balances of 60000 at the time of Dale's retirement. Acorn Lawn and, Hard Lawn and Hardscapes intends to pay Dale $80,000 for his interest. So Sierra and Remy will do the as follows. Calculate the amount of the bonus. This is done by subtracting Dale's capital account balance from the cash payment. So they want to pay him 80000 His capital account balance is sixty leaving 20000 and then allocate the cost of this bonus to the remaining partners on the basis of their income ratio. This calculation comes to 10000 each for Sierra and Remy because it's 20000 divided by 50, 50%. And you take it and you go Dale Capital for 60000 Sierra Capital for 10, Remy Capital for 10, and Cash, 80000 And he is paid out. In some cases, the retiring partner may give a bonus to the remaining partners. This can happen when recorded assets are overvalued, the partnership is not performing well, 
the partner urgently wants to leave the partnership. In these cases, the cash paid by the partnership to the retiring partner is less than the balance in his or her capital account. As a result, the other partners receive a bonus to their capital accounts based on the income sharing ratio established prior to the withdrawal. So Dale has another opportunity and he's eager to move on. He's willing to accept $50,000 cash in order to retire. Each of the three partners of the Acorn Lawn and Hardscapes has a capital balance of $60,000. The difference between this cash amount and Dale's capital amount account is the bonus to the remaining partners. The bonus will be allocated to Sierra and Remy based on the income ratio at the time of Dale's departure. The journal entry to record Dale's retirement for the partnership and the bonus payment to reflect his withdrawal is as follows. So Dale's capital, 60,000, they're gonna pay him out cash of 50,000 and Sierra's gonna get 5,000 and Remy's gonna get 5,000 of his capital. So he's only gonna get 50,000 for his capital, the rest is gonna go get split between Sierra and Remy. 